So we're going to show just a minute. Well, one of the questions we get a lot, of course, at Garrison Dental with the sectional matrix system being uh, one of our primary products, is how to uh, best utilize a rubber dam and a sectional matrix retainer clamp at the same time. So Mary's, uh, Mary's going to show us how to put that all together here. I'm using the modified wing method with a wingless clamp. And that was that special one, right? Uh, yes, this is the Brinker uh, clamp. Uh, the, uh, uh, the two or three system, depending on uh, what side of the mouth you're working on. Uh, and uh, the jaws are, are placed in such a manner where they won't interfere or they shouldn't interfere with your matrices systems. So I went ahead and applied uh, the dam around the tooth and the clamp and now I'm ready to put the frame on. In the pre previous segment I showed you how to use the frame flexidam and in this segment we're going to show you if you're using a frame the procedure for that. It's a similar, it's just that the frame is applied after the clamp and tooth are exposed. Okay, so again, the sequence, we're gonna come over. In this case, we're carrying our dam over to the canine, and we're going to use a wedge cord to apply and anchor the dental dam on the anterior part of our isolation. Again, trimming our wedge cord. Okay, as I mentioned, see how the holes line up again? And we're using the knife edge concept here. Stretch it. And just stretching it and drawing it through the contacts. Just like that. Now, this one's going to have a lot of loose contacts. Yeah, this one's got a lot of preps. Right, exactly. There we go. To make sure that it's down thoroughly, you can go back with some dental floss and just simply pass the dental floss through and and just floss their teeth as I mentioned just kind of popping it in like this since these are already prepped <laughs> Kevin made this really easy yeah. on me <laughs> normally you wouldn't do that until no afterwards but of course but there we go now again we could just just to show you again this little trick here what that I do this works really nice on the anterior part the crossover yeah it's kind of like ligating around the tooth except you're not leaving the floss there you're just simply encompassing the circumference of the of the tooth there we go. We want to make sure this guy's inverted here. We got a nice little restoration we're going to be placing here. There we go. Now this is my all-purpose quadrant prepped type of dot. Okay. The reason why I bring it back through is I don't want it to disturb what I just inverted. Mm. There we go. And then it helps draw the floss onto the next tooth, too. There we go. Almost done. Mary, you look like you've done that about a million times. Yeah, just, so just a few times. Yep. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, now we're all set. All right, so we already did the preps, thanks to Kevin. <laughs> there we go. There, beautifully inverted. Look at that. So now let's go ahead and uh, we're going to pretend to uh, restore that. We're going to not do uh, uh, the whole quadrant type restoration here, here but we wanted to show what it looked like when you had uh, the sectional matrix band and ring and wedge and everything in place with the rubber dam clamp so that you can see how well everything does fit together. So I'm just grabbing a few pieces off to the side here. So Mary, have you done this before? Well, you know, uh, when I was practicing clinically, uh, we didn't have your systems because it wasn't invented yet. <laughs> 
I'm giving away my age no, now. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, uh, we've used, uh, you know, the auto matrix systems, which is similar mm -hmm. to your real matrix, uh, which I like. Uh, I could see the benefit of that uh, with composites, that, you know, posterior composites. Uh, so I'm familiar with that. Um, and okay. so I haven't worked a, a very much with uh, your... Uh, well, ring system. This is going to work double duty then because we're going to show how, everybody how easy it is to do because okay. I want to teach you how to do it. Quick okay, enough. sounds like so, a plan. <laughs> uh, with the matrix band, of course, the little tab is on the uh, the, the occlusal aspect mm -hmm. of the tooth and the, this portion here is the subgingival part. Okay. So if you want to take your forceps and grab the tab and let's place that one, flip it around. There you go. And place it so that the coated side is towards the rubber nail pipe because that's going to be the first and you can bend that tab so that it's at whatever position you need it to slide it in place it should just slide right down in there perfect there it goes yeah. there it is yeah and then what you'll do is you'll hold that you'll put a little bit of pressure towards the gingival with your finger on the band and then you can wedge it because what will happen is, typically speaking, it will pop up or slide through as you wedge. So you need to hold it in place and wedge fairly firmly. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was there. Does that feel like it's holding the band nicely? Does it look good? Yeah, it looks great. So now, the sectional matrix ring, of course we cover the ring placement and everything in our, in our basic course on sectional matrix systems, but that's, that would be the orientation that you would grab it, okay, right, right by the metal part. It's going to go that way. Yep. Yeah. So the loop faces the interior of the mouth. Okay. There you go. Is that is that right now? Yes, it is. Yep. Okay. See how the wedge lays down in between there, and then you can take. Oh, you could take the tail end of, of and this and just kind of pull it. Yeah, because there's no adjacent tooth structure there. Is you, you would want to be you know reasonably gentle in that, so you don't overextend yeah. it. Yeah. But that's how. Now you can see that that ring is sitting on top of that clamp without any difficulty. Yeah, it is. So, so yeah, as long as you're using a wingless or a very, very short winged clamp, um, they should sit in there very well. So, looks great. There we go.